everybody's mind, almost since Halloween when all the candy started coming. And we got through Halloween and then, oh, there was Thanksgiving. And, and now we have Christmas and the cookie bakes and all of that to in front of us. And it's hard. It's really, really hard to focus on healthy eating for the last part of the year. And so I'm excited today. I have a really important program and I think I've got some really good information. And with me today, I've got Dorothy Freeman and she is a co-founder and CEO of Prime Women. And I've got Valerie Freeman, Freeman <laughs> and this is Dorothy Shore. <laughs> so sorry about that. And that's what happens when you get over 50. Yes. It's not just <laughs> the <laughs> diet, it's the mind. It's your mind, yes. So, yeah. Dorothy Shore, my apologies. It's okay, no problem. And Valerie Freeman, you are a co-founder and a director of Prime Women. Yeah. And you both brought a very special guest to the show today. And Dorothy Shore, yes. I'm going to let you introduce her. Okay, my pleasure. Um, our guest uh, uh, and part of our program is Dr. Catherine Waldrop. Um, and she's been a longtime friend and doctor to me. Um, and we... When we started talking about this weight management idea, because uh, from our readers uh, and what they choose to read on our website, we knew that was probably the number one thing they were interested in was um, their how to control their weight after 50, after menopause. And um, Dr. Waldrop, she's been an OBGYN for 30 plus years and, and really an outstanding doctor. And she's... These are her patients, these women that are coming into menopause and dealing with all this. And so she, um, these are her patients and she deals with them and, you know, for the rest of their lives. Um, and so we wanted to collaborate with her uh, about this diet. So with that, I will introduce you to Catherine. Well, good morning. One of the things that I see in my practice is that women will come in uh, year after year and they will put on uh, two, three, four pounds uh, every year. Uh, sometimes they'll put on five or 10 pounds in a year. And then the complaint is, well, I just can't lose weight. And then especially uh, once they go through menopause, uh, they start to gain weight and uh, really have a hard time losing uh, weight because your metabolism changes with menopause. Uh, the, the fact is that every decade of your life, your metabolism goes down by 10 to 20 percent so you is can that automatic that is automatic so wow. you cannot um, eat the same way sadly <laughs> to say uh, when you're 50 that you ate when you were 20 but a lot of us continue to do that so if you go out to eat and eat the same plate of food when you're 50 that you ate when you were 20 uh, you're going to gain weight it's just automatic there is no way around it and especially uh, most of us are not as physically active when we're 50 as we were when we were 20, even though we don't realize it. So our bodies change, our metabolism changes, and hence we continue to add some weight. Well, this is a really important issue because we all know the demographics on the baby boomers, and we know a large part of the population is getting a lot older. Valerie, mm -hmm. can you kind of explain where, what your interest in plate was? <laughs> Well, I am the poster child for uh, <laughs> gaining weight over 50. I've always been very, very thin. And uh, in the last, I'd say, decade, I've put on those five pounds or six pounds that won't go away. And so I've realized, uh, working on a plate for Prime Women, our um, weight management plan, that uh, changes, I, I need to make changes. And um, so I'm, I'm really excited about um, working with plate and, and trying to get those last five or six pounds off because I know that it makes a difference in your health and your longevity. And so uh, I know I feel better when, when I don't have those extra pounds around, mostly around my waist. And, uh, and so I, I really feel that this is a good um, plan for me. And it's going to start with, I, I'm not a big breakfast eater, but I know it's really important. So I'm going to make an effort to uh, change that and to eat less um, because, you know, it's, it's um, you go to a restaurant and you get way too much food. So I'm trying to uh, change that with plate. I can take my plate to a restaurant and tell them exactly how much food I want. So 
Uh, it, it's really, I think, a great plan, and I think that it will help a lot of women uh, be able to manage their weight if they want to make the changes uh, as they get older. So, Dr. Waldrop, could you just explain the basis of PLATE? Well, I think, you know, there are a lot of different diet plans out there. Um, one of the basis of this is that it is not only about the diet, but it's also about accountability. Uh, one of the things that we know is that people do better when they have a group of people that they're working with and some accountability partners. And so part of the basis of PLATE is not only uh, what you're eating, which is healthy and uh, which is something that you can manage yourself. There's no prefab food in it. Nobody's going to send you a <clears throat> packaged food. Uh, this is food that you can find, you can make yourself, which is great. Uh, you don't have to buy anything. Uh, you can make your own food, but it's also about uh, uh, having accountability partners, having people that you can work with in a group which will also help people to stay on track. And hopefully it's something that will become a new lifestyle for you. Uh, to me, I've seen so many people go on so many diets and they can do it for a short period of time, but it's nothing that they change their lifestyle with. Our hope in this is that people will really change their lifestyle and become a new way of living, a new way of eating, and, and it'll last. I mean, that's the goal is not just to take mm -hmm. off a few pounds, but that it's, it's a new lifestyle for them. Uh, because it's not only about weight loss, it's about being healthy. Mm -hmm. Because once you get a healthy way of eating, uh, it's going to impact your whole life. So, Dorothy, would, with the plate concept, I mean, I, I have this vision of P-L-A-T-E. Does that, is it just stand for the plate or does it stand no, for something that, else? No, that's an acronym. Okay. Uh, P is for portion control. And um, we've all found that to be probably the most critical thing. Um, is if you get your portions right, uh, you can enjoy almost anything. Uh, and, in, and in fact, uh, on this plan, you can substitute. You don't have to completely give up ice cream or cookies or cake or wine. <laughs> um, you don't have to give those up as long as you keep the portions under control and you make the right substitute. So if you want to enjoy a cookie, that means you're probably not going to have that little bit of starch at dinner. So the P is all about portion control. Um, L is for lifestyle. Um, as Dr. Waldrop alluded to, it's got to work within your life. Um, I, I don't want to have to constantly think, oh, well, I can't eat that, or uh, I'm going to worry about going to this party because I can't have any of that, or a dinner party, etc. You can have anything on this diet. Now, ideally, you want to make 80, 90% of it really healthy food, but you also want to be able to enjoy pizza, with your family or pasta uh, and all that's manageable within plate we tell you how to do that so we want it to fit your lifestyle and then the a is for accountability and again um, dr waldrop alluded to that we do know from studies that the most successful dieters are the ones who are have a partner or someone that they are uh, accountable to uh, and, and, and and believe it or not, it's it's really the, the real secret to Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers isn't so much about points. Uh, that's that's very to me um, difficult to do on a on an ongoing basis, count calories or points and, and that's why there are no calorie counting or points in this program. Uh, but Weight Watchers it has done a great job by having women a place where they go and they weigh in and they know they're going to do that. Now of course, today, that idea that you're going to go somewhere, that, that's sort of archaic. Um, everything now is online. Uh, the other reason, uh, not just the accountability, but the other reason we wanted to do this program where you, they would be in a group uh, with other women is it's the other thing we've heard from the prime women, that they would like to be... Um, uh, They'd like to know other prime women. So we are putting them into groups of uh, 10 women uh, maximum. Um, and so there's only 10 of us um, that would be in a group. And you would, you know, dialogue back and forth uh, about your issues. There would be a, a mon someone monitoring the program uh, as well. 
um, and they would be giving them tips and recipes. Uh, uh, we've even um, contracted with a chef uh, that will start preparing meals. There will be videos where they can um, kind of see how they can incorporate uh, all their favorites uh, into that. So the accountability piece is huge. So uh, then we've got T is for timing. Um, and Valerie talked about uh, breakfast, and um, studies have also shown that people who eat breakfast uh, tend to um, lose weight uh, quicker, easier, and keep it off. So uh, we aren't saying when you have to eat breakfast, but um, uh, our um, experts in fitness, et cetera, have told us that ideally you should eat within two hours of getting up. Uh, and also that you should eat within a 12-hour period. So if you got up at 7, you'd want to have your breakfast by 9, and then you'd want to be done by 9 uh, in the evening, so a 12-hour period. And then uh, E is for exercise, um, and while there isn't a particular exercise component with this, uh, we highly recommend that they get up to walking 10,000 steps a day and doing weightlifting uh, some sort of weight-bearing exercises at least twice a week. So that is plate. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that really does cover everything. And by taking that holistic approach, that makes it very easy to integrate into your lifestyle. And that's what I heard you say L is for, is lifestyle. And it's, a, it's almost like you have to change the way you think about your food. Exactly. And I uh, just realized through uh, looking at, at this uh, weight management plan that we have, plate, that I needed a lot more protein in my diet, and, uh, and a lot more. I, w I was amazed, and now with, with my plate, uh, it has a place for a protein, so I'm thinking about it every day, and, and that makes it a lot easier to achieve when you're, you've got it right in front of you and you can see what you need. So you've mentioned a couple of times your plate. Do you have an actual plate that you use for the program? Yes, and it's uh, it can be downloaded and printed out, and then you can take it with you uh, when you go to the grocery store or when you go to a restaurant, and uh, it kind of segregates what, what it is that you need each day. So, oh. Dr. Waldrop, the, the size of that plate is that based upon what your your experience has shown is needed for women over around 50? Yes, the size of the plate shows you the correct amount of protein that you need, the correct amount of vegetables that you need on a daily basis. So you're getting the right amount of protein. Uh, it's important to get uh, calcium in your diet. Uh, that's in, uh, in plate so that if you're not getting <clears throat> enough calcium, we know that women over the age of 50 need to get someplace between 1,000 and 1,500 milligrams of calcium. You can supplement with extra calcium. But uh, if you follow the diet plan, then not only are you gonna reduce your calories, but you're also gonna get adequate protein, you're gonna get an adequate amount of green vegetables, fruit, and these things have been shown uh, to decrease your risk of getting certain cancers, uh, really increase your health overall. It should improve your cholesterol. Um, it's very similar in a lot of ways to what's been called the DASH diet, the Mediterranean diet, those diets that we know overall improve your, your health long term. So that's the goal. The, the, the goal go is overall health, not just weight loss. The goal is overall health. And weight loss is part of that for sure. But the, the goal is overall health. We well, you know I think about it and you think about a family and what a great learning experience for a whole family. That Because I think a lot of times it, eating properly is something that you have to learn how to do. And most of us, particularly this time of the year, we're on the run, we've got places to go, we go through the fast food window. Right. And we all know that's not healthy, but does that mean we stop doing it? Well, we, we may still continue to do that. Uh, but, you know, um, I think a good idea there is if you're a woman who's approaching 50 or well over 50, um, you probably need to be ordering the kid's meal. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and that's just the, that's just the fact. I mean, there's going to be times you, you, you're going to have fast food. That's just that's the way it is. Well, 
order the kid's size because that's what you need to be eating. Um, and, you know, this plate, this actual plate that Valerie's talking about that you download and cut out to carry with you, it, when you look at it, you're going to say, well, that's smaller than the plates I have at home. It is. But if you go back to the 50s and 60s, the, the plates that we ate on, those of us that are baby boomers, um, it, it's much smaller than today's plate. We ate much smaller portions. So there's a lot going on as to why uh, we're gaining weight. And it's not just hormones. It's not just older. Everyone's gaining weight because they eat too big of portions. One of the other things in the diet plan is to really decrease the amount of sugar, uh, which is a big uh, bugaboo in our diet these days. Uh, people just have way too much sugar consumption. And uh, to decrease or uh, really stop snacking in between meals. And uh, it's, it's a habit. You know, you walk by the refrigerator, you walk into the lounge at work, and there's food sitting out, and especially this time of year, all the goodies that come, and we just grab it. And we kind of, as I say to my husband, it's that mindless eating. Uh, I'm like, you're just mindlessly eating. <laughs> that she can grab the chips out of the uh, pantry, and you just kind of sit there and mindlessly snack. And so that becomes a habit. And so with plate, you need to become aware of what you're eating, when you're eating, that you sit down and eat. It's a, kind of a pet peeve of mine. We're going to sit down. We're going to really think about what we're eating rather than just having mindless uh, eating. So we're uh, going to eat with intention. Yes. It's a great way to put it. And, you know, everything that I hear all of you ladies say makes me think, this is really integrate into, I can integrate this into my life. It's easy. I can still have my fast food. Not maybe if that, I don't, maybe I don't even want it, but I, I want to eat. And that's my only option. I can still have my fast food. I can still have some pizza. I can still have my glass of wine. Mm -hmm. And that that's important to me. Whereas a brownie may be important to somebody else, that glass of wine is important to me. So it sounds like a lot of thought has been put into integration into the daily life. Mm -hmm. Yes. One, of, one of the other things mm -hmm. that Dorothy touched on was exercise. And it's been shown that women over 50... Um, Diet is more important than exercise as far as weight loss, but uh, weight-bearing exercise is more important as far as weight loss than uh, cardiovascular exercise. In other words, we need to increase muscle to actually lose weight. So doing the weight-bearing exercise, working out with weights, uh, that's more important than just doing the aerobic exercise. And that's a new train of thought mm -hmm. because I know growing up, you know, I had to get out and run. I right. had to get my cardio, 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 cardio. Mm -hmm. So that's a different way to look at it. And as we get older, we need to do more with weights. Yes, because when we're over 50, we start getting osteopenia and osteoporosis. And uh, weight-bearing exercises really, really helps that. So I really like um, the bands, those rubber bands that you can get mm -hmm. and, and uh, have resistance exercises really good and not, not really uh, so difficult. You know, you can even pack them in your suitcase. Uh, and you can do that at home. Up. And you can yeah. do it at home. You can do it in the office. You can do it in your car. <laughs> you can do it everywhere. Uh, one other thing I, I think uh, is real important to note here and, and not lose um, – lose this thought because this is all going to sound good and women are going to hear this and they're going to oh gosh I think I could do that let's see I'm going to download those plates and I'm going to get going on this and then they will slip back their old way um, because we are creatures of habit um, and the people around us influence us far more than we know um, and we fall away um, so I think if you're approaching this plate program, you really need to sign up for the whole program and get in one of these groups of nine other women that are going to be around the age you are. They're going to be within 10 years of your age. They're going to be pretty close in the amount of weight they need to lose. They are going to have the same issues you are. And they are going to be looking to you, and you're each going to be talking back and forth about how it's going, you know, how did you do this week, et cetera. You're going to be getting tips. Um, 
recipes, uh, all kinds of things going on uh, in this program, but you've got to be in the program for long-term success. And what is long-term success? How long do you need to commit to to the program? Well, the minimum is 90 days. And and truthfully, the 90 days is probably for that person who's got less than 10 pounds to lose. I mean, this is not a fast, this is not a quick uh, weight loss program. You're not cutting out carbs. You're not cutting out all this stuff, hopefully sugar primarily, but you're not cutting out everything. And so it's going to be a slow weight um, and so it's going to even, even, you know, Valerie's talking about her five pounds. Well, I, I promise you for her to lose five pounds, keep it off and be at a point where she's ready to go on her own is going to be 90 days. So for most people, it's going to take a lot longer. So that's the minimum. Mm-hmm. But isn't this a right way to do it, Dr. Waldrop? Yes. Slow weight loss is much more effective at keeping it off than people who go on a crash diet and will lose five pounds Mm -hmm. in a few weeks, and then they'll put it right back on plus some more. I mean, we see that yo-yo dieting all the time, and that is totally ineffective, and most people that yo-yo diet actually end up gaining more weight than the people that will take that slow, consistent, Mm -hmm. steady approach to weight loss. Well, I'm in a a plate group, and uh, one of uh, the people in the group, sent out a message saying that she had lost some like five or six pounds and it motivated me. I thought, well, if she can do it, I can do it. So I think it's really motivating to be in a group where everybody's talking about what they're doing and how they're doing it. Well, you know, and I think that group offers another dimension, and that is there are so many myths about dieting. I mean, I know I go out to lunch with women friends and, oh, well, what's the salad on the menu? You know, and I noticed... In, I read some information that you ladies shared, and I noticed that entree salad, that's a no-no. Tell me more about that. Well, <laughs> okay, uh, uh, most entree salads, if you look at them, they are loaded, first off, A, with sugar. Because we all love those dried cranberries. Those are really yummy. Um, and then those sugared uh almonds or whatever else is in there pecans oh yeah Mm -hmm. oh yeah Mm -hmm. it's all so yummy and it makes that lettuce all taste so good of course you've got your chicken or whatever you've thrown in there but the reality is um it's laden with calories and that's before you add the dressing um and then it doesn't even stick with you uh i mean because you you didn't have uh, any kind of a, a carb a healthy carb with that um and you probably didn't even get the the protein you needed you probably didn't even get the three or four ounces of protein that you needed so um we're not saying don't ever do that but if you really want to have a, a, an entree salad it probably needs to be one that's primarily greens and that protein choice probably needs to be something like a probably six ounce piece of salmon uh to hold you and that kind of a salad works but those others not so much dr waldrop do you have any comments on that the salad a healthy salad uh, I, I mean, I agree with that. The salad, if, you, if you've if you ever tried just eating a salad for lunch like that, uh, usually within a few hours you're hungry again. So the point of plate is that you can eat and then you will stay full until you eat again mm-hmm. for a next sit-down meal, hopefully. You and, know, and things like kale or instead of, I've been told that just regular mm-hmm. lettuce has no nutritional value. A lot of it, it's a lot of water. Yeah. Uh-huh. So the water weight. Uh huh. So you want to get something that's got some good protein in it, and that's where the kale uh, has some good protein in it. Shaved Brussels sprouts, you know, things that have good protein are helpful. Uh, the, the protein that you're going to get from chicken or fish is helpful. Uh, if you eat a sandwich, even though you know we're like, oh my gosh, don't eat bread, but if you eat half of a sandwich with some wheat bread. That's very helpful to get your protein and a little bit of carb in there and some um, whole wheat's good, fiber's good, all that. And it's going to stick with you till you eat your next meal. Well, you know, there's so, it can be so confusing getting on a diet because there's Weight Watchers and there's Jenny Craig. And the one thing I really like about Plate is that you have to learn how to prepare your food. You don't get pre-prepared food. And I think that's a, that's a big challenge for a lot of people is if they, you know, you get used to, 
I do it. You get used to going in, opening that frozen dinner, popping it in the microwave. And it's, okay, what am I going to do instead of that? So if people do have, let's say they're not ready to get committed and they're not ready to join a group, but if they do have questions about the program, how could they get information? Probably the best uh, way to do that would be to write to info at primewomen.com. And then um, we will uh, send those questions. If it's something that we think Dr. Waldrop needs to answer, we would forward it on to her uh, and let her feel that. If it has something to do specifically with ideas we've gotten from other women that have been on this trial program, uh, we would answer those. Okay, so you don't have to be ready to sign on the dotted line. You can check it out. You can gently explore the, the whole concept, and that's great. Is there anything else that you think our, our listeners, w- it would be important or helpful for them to know about the program? Or about Prime Women? You know, we yeah, really oh, did, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there, we really didn't introduce prime women, so really quickly, yes, let's talk yes. about that. Yes, let's, let's talk about that. Primewomen.com, uh, it's a free subscribe. You get uh, a choice of a newsletter um, three times a week or just once a week. With all our articles, we cover everything from fashion, uh, certainly nutrition, travel, um, second Career. acts under and careers, um, so entertainment, uh, and uh, we even have a shop section. Um, so anything that a woman over 50 is interested in, you're going to find it pretty much on Prime Women. Um, and uh, we have found this to be just such a joy to be a part of because getting to know these women, not just in the U.S., but uh, Canada, and the UK, uh, Australia, um, and in fact, these women will be on this program as well. Um, We had in our uh, trial program, we had women from the UK and Canada. So it's great um, getting to know these women and know what they're interested in. And we're pretty unique in that we are uh, aimed at professional women over 50. And there really isn't another website or, or publication Uh, out there uh, like ours well one thing i do like is when i get those emails you want to learn more it's a three-minute read oh yeah that that's my speed well ladies thank (laughs) you so much for being with me today i really appreciate it's good advice and it's something that as we go with christmas not very far away we really need to be aware of we know where to go to get information on plate Always look at the brainperformancecenter.com, their Facebook, and our website. We're putting out blogs and articles of interest on a regular basis. So thank you for being with me, and happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you. 